Okay, guys. Today I want to talk some more about uh, some XRP, XLM, Ripple, SDF, and Stronghold connections that I have um, found more and more information on as I've been uh, creating these uh, deep dive and interconnection kind of uh, pieces of information. So again, this this XX1133 account, um, it it truly helps me um, organize my thoughts and begin to piece together different uh, portions of information throughout the XLM and XRP community, I suppose. So I always have to give uh, him, I'm assuming it's him, credit here. And uh, we begin with the PayPal Mafia, and they're heavily invested in Ripple XRP and in the SDF with with XLM. And uh, while everyone is really hyping up Bitcoin and Ethereum, um, especially Bitcoin in particular, just is too, it is not efficient enough to operate at uh, the kind of uh, transfer uh, speed and scale, even with the Bitcoin lightning network, the adoption of that has gone down as well. So that's not even truly an option. So as we progress here, let's check out the PayPal Mafia. It's a group of former PayPal employees and founders. Uh, we have some huge names, P P Peter Thiel, uh, Mark Levchin, Elon Musk, obviously. Um, there's a few others that I'll talk more about. Uh, Jed McCaleb is involved as well. I don't see his name on here, but um, these guys are essentially connected to all of these uh, value transfer crypto uh, projects and applications now, or as they uh, relate to XRP and, and XLM. So this is a really interesting one that XX put out uh, sh sh showing us all of the people who are involved with XRP and or a a a a XLM in one way or uh, or another. Uh, and these kind of all uh, relate back to the PayPal mafia as well. I don't think all of these were officially on this sheet, but a lot of them are. So we've got Arthur Burrito, he's um, one of the um, head honchos over at R R R Ripple. So we've got involvement with XRP. I don't know what this shield is. Um, I'm going to have to check that. But um, OpenCoin, uh, that was the first name of XRP. Same with D D D David Schwartz as well. He comes from an NSA uh, background as well, which the Bitcoin community uh, doesn't really want to accept the fact that because Bitcoin was created um, right after the 2007-2008 e economic crash, um, that it might have been some kind of a, a Department of Defense operation. Uh, but I don't know. I think that's a conversation for another time. J J Jed? McCaleb is a huge name. He's involved with XLM now. He uh, was with XRP, OpenAI, which uh, goes back to the WorldCoin project, which is not a positive thing. Um, we have more XLM connections, especially with uh, the payment provider Stripe. Again, we got OpenCoin. Chris Larson is with Ripple now, I believe, uh, XLM, Stellar, Interledger. Um, we have XLM, Sean Barrett. Uh, I just did a uh, XLM and Stronghold uh, video that I will link in the description as well. But he began with XRP and XLM where he was creating 
um, essentially the uh, framework for CBDCs there. Um, we will talk about those connections again. Again, we got PayPal. Um, we have the, the Founders Fund, which is on uh, Peter Thiel as well. They're heavily involved in the SDF. We have OpenAI. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And of course, Elon here too. Um, so these two projects in between XRP and XLM are so connected that if they're not working directly together to work on the XLM um, cross-border payment concentration that they've officially rebranded to now, or the XRP-based um, uh, higher value cross-border payment end of things, um, they're certainly working alongside each other. So again, uh, we have some more connections. Uh, Alex Bressler, P Peter Thiel, and the C C Kushners are all involved in this open uh, verb um, or, yeah, um, related work. Uh, so you have OpenAI, OpenCoin, which was the original XRP. Um, this all ties t t together again. I have an article on Jed McCaleb. He came on to Ripple as a co-founder. He left to uh, essentially create XLM. Um, yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff there. Again, we have IBM and the Hyperledger and WorldWire, which run on XLM essentially and rip ripple to launch a uh a stable coin backed by fdic insured banks now this is from 2018 but as i explained in my other bit, bit, bit video xrp xlm um are working together on a lot of things this is a uh map that i haven't gone into yet it's pretty similar to the one um that i made the xlm deep dive on, um, but uh, it does add a couple of other things on here like quant um, connecting everything. You again have tie-ins with IBM, Worldwire, uh, Stronghold, their token, how that can be uh, used as a CBDC, which runs on the XLM, protocol um everything else in here either i'm not terribly interested in right now for this video or i'll have to look more into but yeah we're just re -sh showing how interconnected it all actually is oh wh while we're talking about usdc i made a video about xlm and the sdf and how they uh used circle um, on XLM to uh, send financial aid over to Ukraine and how that could look like what the platform for a CBDC is. Um, I have a video on that as well. I'll put that in the description too. Um, then we get into Stronghold because I just talked about them more. Uh, there is, this is basically running on the XLM network. Um, and the interesting thing about this article is it explains everything, obviously, but if you look who wrote it, her name is Tammy Camp, the CEO of Stronghold. And if we look at her a little bit more, she's the founder and CEO. Um, she is now with Stronghold primarily, but is still involved with Stellar as well. Um, I had a really good uh, picture of her uh, experience with each of those, but I can't find it anymore. But again, we're talking about everything being interconnected, 
all the way back to these guys and the PayPal mafia, right? So uh, then I get into what I talked about in the past as well, uh, the uh, ripple acquisition of Fortress Trust. And I talk about this because Stronghold um, uses uh, prime uh, investments or prime something. Uh, I can't believe, yeah, Prime Trust. The CEO of Fortress Trust used to work for them until 2020. Um, and now he's a part of Ripple and XRP as well. And you can see here that this is the stronghold page. We have Prime Trust here, IBM as well, obviously. Um, this is from their white paper online, Key Partnerships, IBM, the SDF, Ripple, Xspring. Um, this looks like X, the XRP logo, so um, I'll have to check more into that. Um, but I think this really does a good job of tying all of this together and, and where the value from this actually is. So. This ISO uh, explanation shows how Ripple and the SDF can, or XRP and XLM can be made interoper interoperable with other chains through ISO 222. So this explains the uh, scope of the proposed suite to allow interoperability and governance across chains. Um, this can be similar to the swift iso 222 which defines the fields and controls within the messages within the transactions between entities thus allowing interoperability um so if you open this up a little bit more we can uh, see the tie-in of SWIFT into the bank, goes through all of the blockchain stuff, uh, payment platform, and then it comes out. I can't read this right now. I apologize about that. But yeah, so again, um, XRP, XLM, they're all tied together by these very, very, very successful and rich individuals who are in positions to heavily influence not only the crypto industry and its expansion, but the financial industry, not only in the US, but all over the world as well. I mean, there are multiple names on there who are involved in all kinds of things all over the world. And I think that's really important because at the end of all of these, I come back to the exact same conclusion that XRP and XLM are not just efficient, high-speed uh, transaction assets, but they're also so interconnected to get into the uh, traditional financial system. You can't just have a good product. You have to have good connections, relationships, and partnerships as well. Um, that's just how the world works. Um, it, it, it can't always mean that the best product is ch ch chosen, but it will mean that um, the right projects, if you are into them, like XRP, XLM, I talked about Quant, uh, Stronghold, I didn't mention it, but I did a uh, video on the XRP and HBAR project Nudon, which is um, using an XRP and HBAR for a CBDC as well. I'll put that in the uh, description as well. So we also have HBAR in there now too. Again, I truly think that we're at the forefront of the mass adoption and if and when the U.S. can provide some official regulatory clarity for the crypto uh, uh, space overall, this will be the next major economic explosion. 
All of this technology is here. It won't ever go away. We've opened up Pandora's box and uh, you can't put that uh, toothpaste in the tube again. So I'm going to stop with all of my um, with all of my analogies and uh, I'm going to put out some more content today and tomorrow as well while I'm tr 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 traveling.